set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained and new rights to be won and they must be won and used for the progress of all people. Over time, over very long periods of time, life got itself together by slow, gradual steps and progressed through, well, bacteria, which God knows are complicated enough, but to protozoa, to plants, to animals, to, to fish, to mammals, and finally to us, to creatures capable of understanding what's going on and piecing it all together with billions of years of hindsight. That is an astounding thing to think about, that on one planet, maybe more planets, but certainly on one planet in the universe, inanimate matter, gradually got itself together to the point where it was so complicated and so well organized that it could even understand the process. Isn't that a thrilling fact? At the time of the Big Bang, there was uh, energy, elementary particles, which slowly evolved into the kind of universe we know today. We are the product of a grand evolutionary sequence, cosmic evolution, uh, about which we are only occasionally aware. As one of my great heroes, Carl Sagan, said, these are the things Right, Saturn V rockets and Sputnik and, and DNA and literature and science. These are the things that hydrogen atoms do when given 13.7 billion years. say that perhaps in the next 50 years we will find mechanisms by which we can repair genetic damage and therefore begin to extend the human lifespan. It was discovered that the universe was expanding. Distant galaxies were moving away from us. This meant they must have been closer together in the past. If we extrapolate back, we find they must have all been on top of each other about 15 billion years ago. This was the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe. <laughs> 